Y'all can call me crazy, y'all can call me delusional, y'all can call me psychotic, I do not care. But at this point in the presidential election, Donald Trump is literally creating the political Avengers and I am here for it, okay? When I tell y'all the recent endorsements that he have gotten from RFK as well as Tulsi Gabbard, it's literally going to be the end game for the Democrats themselves, okay? I do not care what Barack Obama had to say on that stage. I don't care what Michelle Obama had to say on that stage, baby. I don't even care what Oprah Winfrey had to say on that stage. They still have not given us any policies. The only thing that they keep giving us is bad mouthing and bad talking Trump. They literally said that man name over 500 times throughout the whole DNC. And we still have not gotten not one policy. And keep in mind, the policies that we did get from her literally originated from Trump. Okay. At first, she wanted to tax tips. Now she don't. At first she was against the wall. Now she's not. At this point, y'all, it's time to open y'all eyes. It's time to like really pay attention to what's going on. To all my MAGA fans, to all my MAGA family, please make sure y'all turn up and turn out at this election polls in November. Because if it's too big, then it cannot be rigged and we will not have the same outcome that we had in 2020. Let's go MAGA family. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, finally, Kamala Harris has come out of hiding and she's going to do her first interview. Her first interview with Dana Bash. Mm -hmm. But she needs emotional support. So she's not going to do this by herself. She needs Tampon Tim to go along with her. Yeah. Is there the, the line now going to be, well, why isn't she doing it by herself? Yeah, I, I do think people are going to bring that up. Look, I, I have great confidence in Dana and CNN to, to do this. I think it's incredibly weak. Weak sauce to show up with your running mate. The fact that they don't have enough confidence in her to let her sit herself, the actual top of the ticket, and do a single interview. In fact, I think the hand-wringing and the gyrations over this over the last month show a troubling lack of confidence in her political ability, which also makes you wonder as a voter, well, what kind of president would you be if this kind of a small-time decision, can we do an interview or not, what does that look like for your decision-making process, so on? So, I, yes, I think Republicans are going to think it's pretty weak to show up uh, with a, effectively someone to take up half the time. Oh, it's also taped. A taped interview with her sidekick for emotional support. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see the tough questions that Dana Bash is going to serve them. Unbelievable. It's CNN, a friendly network towards her, and she still needs emotional support. She needs Tim to come help her out. Uh, if she, every, can, if, and oh, she she's will gonna do show one. up. It's coming. She'll show up at NPR somewhere like that, but she's not going to take gonna tough show questions. Up on a network, and she's going to have a sit down conversation. She has already said her campaign has already said that that's going to happen. If you're waiting for the it's day, a everybody month. else is waiting it's for the day. It's a month. She's actually on the ground. She's doing bus tours across the state of Georgia. She is talking to the she's voters. The, last the voters one in the are going to make it. this decision. What, what? The so-called strong black independent woman, the AKA the Alpha Kappa Alpha. She can't do this by herself. She needs a white man as an emotional support. You might as well bring your husband, Dougie, out. I mean, he's about the same as Mr. Timmy here. He's a limperist, just like Timmy. If you want an emotional support. But they are doing so in trying to put forward um, male figures, Tim Walls being one of them, uh, Doug Emhoff last night, who... Um, can speak to men out there who um, might not be the sort of testosterone-laden, you know, uh, gun-toting kind of guy who wants to listen to Hulk Hogan and the kind of um, 
players that came out at the RNC or might want to listen to that, but also, in addition, understand that it's okay in 2024 to be a man comfortable in his own skin who supports a woman. And that's something that they really are trying to work on with male voters beyond the base. Jesus Christ. And the strong black independent woman here, she challenges Donald Trump anytime, anywhere, I'll debate you. Well, Donald. I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. So Mr. Trump says, okay, I see you, and I raise you two more debates, one on Fox and one on CNN. She said, no, 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 no. We're going to just do the ABC. And she's trying to change the rules. She's trying to change the rules. She want to have an open book test. She wants the microphones to be back on. She wants to sit down. And she want to bring notes. What? Yes. She want to have an open book test, people. Debate prep might not be going very well because suddenly your handlers want to change the rules. They want Harris to be able to sit down at a table and want her to be able to bring notes. Now, if I was Kamala, I'd want to forget the last four years, too. But she can't bring cheat sheets to a debate. Kamala also wants to unmute the mics. Two weeks ago, Harris said the debate over the debate was over. And it was time for Trump to man up. Now she's throwing last second curveballs, ripping up the rules. Is she trying to weasel her way out of this? Unbelievable. And she also want to have an opening statement. Because, you know, she's a prosecutor. That's all they know. They write. They, they read statements. She can't think off the cuff. So she want a pre-written opening statement. And she want to bring notes. I mean, why don't you just get her earbud? And let uh, Obama speak in your ear. I mean, what's the difference? We agreed to the same rules. Same rules and same specifications. And I think that's probably what it should be. But they're trying to change it. The truth is they're trying to get out of it. Because she doesn't want to debate. She's not a good debater. She's not a smart person. She doesn't want to debate. All of her so-called achievements have not been original thought. She's already try to hijack Trump, no tax or tips. She's already tried to hijack that. And now she tried to hijack the wall. Kamala Harris has spent decades fighting violent crime. As a border state prosecutor, she took on drug cartels and jailed gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. As vice president, she backed the toughest border control bill in decades. And as president, she will hire thousands more border agents and crack down on fentanyl and human trafficking. Fixing the border is tough. So is Kamala Harris. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. Yes, now the border czar, who is not the border czar, is talking about she's going to be tougher on the border. Get it? Yeah. The president of the United States has a vanity project that he doesn't want to give up. It's the president's vanity project. Mm. This issue is about a vanity project for this president. Right. The president's vanity project? We are not facing a crisis. We have a president of the United States who has created a fiction about a crisis at the border, and he has held up the United States government and its workers around his vanity project called a wall. The, the idea that he is trying to say that we have people that are trying to invade our country to commit mass crime is a crisis of his own making. This has got to be the weakest candidate we ever had. I mean, let's say if it was Hillary versus Kamala, who you vote for? I'm not a big Hillary fan, but if it came to these two, Hillary, hands down. At least she could talk to the press. At least she could hold press conferences. At least she could do town halls. She's not scared. Kamala, she's scared. The press is here. <laughs> <laughs>
I got some words. I got the vocabulary. And my pronunciation is perfect. <laughs> hey, this is all we got. This is what we got. And it's embarrassing that the Democrats did not vote for her. They just put her in. And even Gavin Newsom made a joke about it. How are you feeling about the switch? I mean, <laughs> the switch. Now just... we went through a very open process, <laughs> a very inclusive process. Uh, it was bottom up. I don't know if uh, you know that. Yes, that's what I've been told to say. Yes, it was, uh, uh, it was, a, it was a blitz <laughs> primary, I believe that's is what right. they called it. It's a very, very fast blitz. <laughs> I think it was it's a uh, blink uh, primary, so we call that. Yeah. Oh, a 30 minute uh, <laughs> convention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, between a tweet and uh, another tweet. It's amazing yeah. how it happened. Yeah, it's yeah. been amazing. But it is, what is amazing is how unified everybody is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes. You know he's mad because he thought he was going to been picked so he got a little sour grapes but yeah that through that little laughter and joking he's hurting and he's calling the democrats out this has been a fraud from the beginning oh lord anyway that's my thoughts for the day if you guys got any value out of my content do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe you see that notification bell turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest share this content with your best friends and Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>